5150 downtown Los Angeles 2018 yeah 2018 but you know what it's 1983 the whole vibe is back let's flashback and let me introduce my guests Ottawa the original heavy metal maniacs exciter thank you for being here on the 5150 2018 but it's uh 1983 84 outside how do you all feel Obviously, you're, you're playing the Strike Fest here in Los Angeles, but how do you feel about having this draw still over 30-something years later? Well, it's awesome. It's great. Like you say, it's like 1983 all over again. It's frightening, ain't it? Oh, uh, the, young, the young people are taking, taking the metal thing over so well, you know. It's um, more and more young people, and we notice here in L.A., it's, it's great, you know. They're really passing on the torch, and uh, it's cool. We're looking forward to it. What about you? It's encouraging. It's like, uh, you know, you see all the young people coming out. It's encouraging to know that there's still, like, a, a, the, the resurgence is happening, but it's a whole new fan base coming along for the ride. You know, it's great. I think the kids are going back to discover the origins of metal, and all of a sudden, boom, pop, Exciter pops up, and it's like, oh, who, who are these guys? And, you know, and then they, they discover... Where the whole genre and the whole 80s vibe came from. So they, when we play shows like this, you know, they say we gotta go check this band out because this is where it all started. And I think uh, you know most of the young people that we talk to at the shows, that's what they tell us, you know. So uh, they want to go back to the roots, and uh, you know we're the roots rooted band. <laughs> but here's a, here's the deal, though. You know, uh, you're right. The resurgent is alive and well, and uh, uh, multi generational. Because you got some old fuckers like me out there as well. But the thing is, is the music has stood the test of time. That right there in itself. That is the most important thing, and I think now, especially with the internet and and uh, the easy access to go back in time. It's the music that draws these kids and us older folk out to see you live. But how do you feel? How do you feel about the music, uh, excited music, being not only relevant and strong, but it's more powerful now than ever? It's, uh, it's pretty wild. It's pretty surprising. You know, we, we never thought back then that we'd be going today. But uh, it, it's pretty cool. You know, we're the band, so we're not going to sit here and, and really talk about ourselves. But everybody comes up to us and uh, really starting to realize what we did back then and like you say the the music withstands the test of time it's um, it's pure metal played at its hardest and uh, we're one of the last old school bands that are together yeah. anybody else want to comment on that yeah it's uh, it's exactly what he said it but it's uh, I go back to being encouraging again it's cr encouraging to know that everything we did way back then is still relevant and current now and everybody's so into it you know it's just that's what keeps us going well we were talking to our promoter last night um taylor and he was saying you know like we're the real deal you know there's a lot of bands that get up there and they try to do the the speed and the thrash and but he said you know you guys are the real deal and, and you know he told us uh you know a younger band should check us out because you know we're playing it for real we created the vibe we're responsible for the vibe you know and uh when we play we you know we're not posing <laughs> you know it's it's where it comes right from the inside you know that's we've always always been like that every single performance no matter if we're playing los angeles or in europe or south america and when we start into a song, the crowd reacts exactly like they did in the 80s wow. because they feel the music, they feel the vibe. And then when we see the reaction from the audience, it's like, oh, yeah, this is it, you know. So, we, you know, we feel like we're 24 years old. <laughs> the original band, all of you got together recently a couple of years ago, and you've been performing as the three piece of Exciter, the main foundation the original exciter how is the chemistry wise when you're jamming amongst yourself with new music who wants to take that question first well it's the same as the, as the old music you know? really well yeah what do you mean the new stuff for writing yeah the chemistry like oh, when you guys all got back in the room was it back when like got back together it was like uh the, we played stand up and fight the first song and it was like we took a week off <laughs> Everything fell together, and I think you had the right where we just had this chemistry in the 80s that we still have now. And uh, 
it, it, like I said, it just slipped back together. The chemistry is great. We, we, we feel like we've been playing forever. New music. Will you be performing any new music tonight? Not tonight. Uh, we're doing pre-production and we're writing songs, but uh, no, we're just, we're just going to play the classics tonight. One of the things that I've always admired about bands of your, like yourselves of that epic era, groundbreaking, innovative, is the fact that throughout the decades, of course, you venture off into d different jurisdictions musically, but one of the things is, is that the music and the integrity has always been the key. With the new music, is it stressful to write in 2018 because now you have a whole new legions of fans that know you from my era? It can be stressful. I mean, there's a lot of pressure on us to, uh, I mean, we're, it's going to have to be great, you know, and we know that. And, and that's why we're being really fussy with what we're putting out, you know. Take your time. It, yeah, we're taking our time. At first we were pressured and, and we thought, you know, let's just take the pressure off and, and take our time, do it right, because we've got to do it right, you know. And um, so far, so good. I mean, we're happy with what we got so far. Good. Yeah. Anybody else? Yeah, we're being really careful about the music that we, the new music that we put out, because it has to stand up to the old stuff. And we feel kind of pressured. You know, we don't want to put out a, a, a weak record. And like Al said, we're taking our time to make sure the music is going to be just as explosive as it was back in the day when we were making albums together. Dan? Yeah, the same thing as what these guys said. The pressure's on. I mean, we don't go around chewing our nails or anything like that, you know, but uh, we enjoy the challenge. And But again, you know, we're not just going to race out and put out an album just to please everybody that wants to hear a new Exciter album. We're, we've always pleased ourselves with those first albums. And then we hope the world follow it, and that's what we're going to do. And when we're ready, then we'll release it, and not before.